We all know Chef Ramsay isn't afraid to call out even the sweetest of chefs, as when it comes to running Hell's Kitchen, he means all business. However, while almost every contestant in Hell's Kitchen has faced the wrath of Ramsay, a select few have been berated more than the average, to say the very least. What's going on guys, I am Flint Masters, and today, we'll be looking at the Hell's Kitchen contestants who took the most heat from Ramsay, and were absolutely broken by the man. Now obviously, most of these chefs deserve the classic insults that they received, but it seemed that for whatever reason, Ramsay was extra hard on these chefs. Before we begin, if you love Hell's Kitchen, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for fun long and short form HK content. And with all that said, let's take a look back at the Hell's Kitchen chefs who Ramsay was most ruthless to. Bloody hell, here I go again. If there's one chef that represents Ramsay being hard on due to their high expectations, it's Chris from season 1. Chris was the only executive chef on the cast, and because of this, Ramsay rode his ass the entire season, as he obviously expected more from someone with such high prestige compared to the rest of the chefs in season 1. And the funny thing is, unlike Tavon, Chris didn't even brag about the fact that he was an executive chef, as that's just simply what he did for a living. But man, the second he told Ramsay's occupation, it's almost as if he put a bullseye directly on his back. It's mine, Chef. Chris. Executive Chef. Executive Chef? Executive Chef. I think you're a plank. Well, I don't really know what that means, Chef. Plank means an idiot. It's raw. I don't agree, Chef. Let me tell you something. And listen to me. You've got a lot to learn. So be a good plank and get back in line. Chris has a huge chip on his shoulder. He's an Executive Chef. Which basically means you sit on your ass all day long and clearly he's been doing that for the last 10 years. Come here. You're an executive chef, right? Yes, chef. Yeah? What do you think of that? It's a, it's a little <laughs> chef. There you go. There you go. Are you new as <laughs> up? Yeah? And an executive chef doesn't serve <laughs> like that, do they? No, no, you, you apologize. Don't do, do it again, OK? <laughs> Send the whole <laughs> table back, yeah? The executive chef has just sent me an overcooked piece of <laughs> away. We chef. Forget the an executive of Yes We Chef, just tell me yes or no and cut the toss pop We Chef. Unfortunately, that's what I do for a living. I'm an executive chef. I'm sorry. No matter how arrogant you want to be, look at these main courses. Yes, chef. And we're just standing over here. Yes? Yes, chef. When you come into the kitchen and announce that you are an executive chef, you expect a little bit more than what I got from Chris. While season 1 definitely showed Americans what Gordon Ramsay was made of, it wasn't until season 2 where Ramsay really shined, and a lot of that came at the expense of one man. With that being Tom, Tom is exactly what you picture when you think of a Ramsay punching bag, as the dude was old and out of shape, made numerous dumb mistakes, and worst of all, he thought he was better than he actually was. And yeah, when someone like Tom thinks he can handle Hell's Kitchen and Chef Ramsay, you know Ramsay will take every chance he gets to put Tom in his rightful place. You cannot get rid of me, you will not break me. Donut, come here, you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I've had enough. You listen, stop. Come here, you. You idiot. And you're putting the quail. No, I have the ones there. That's for that. In order there. Oh. oh my God. The Dutch burn. You're cooking in a burn pan, you. It's gonna blow fire in your face, you. Donkey! Open those big eyes and watch what the f this guy's doing. Yes, chef. Shut it and watch. Yes, chef. Shut it! So, blue team, tortellinis. Sadly, no sauce. May I speak? No tortellinis. May I speak? May you speak. May you stand up straight and stop no, acting well, like I'm a slob. No, I'm... No, no, let, 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 cut the f will you? Just stand up straight and at least look like a cook. Do I slouch and slub and talk like this, like some big fat slob? He doesn't want to get in a street fight with me, trust me. <laughs> you serious? Chef Ramsay obviously has to be careful about his insults to female chefs and his overall treatment of them, as he simply can't get away with treating the woman the same way he does the men. But there's one female chef that always seemed to get an earful from Ramsay no matter what she did, with that being Autumn from season 7. Despite surviving 7 nominations, tied for the most in HK history, and getting a good final word from Ramsay, the man was on Autumn's ass the entire season for whatever reason. And I mean, my god Ramsay, what does this poor girl have to do to prove that she has a passion for cooking? Oh, help me to understand where your respect for ingredients is. You handle fish like your donkey. I don't, I don't get it. I'm just frustrated, you know. All I did was not use a spatula. Show a little respect. Yes, chef. 
When you Love dropped that you. salmon, there wasn't an ounce of expression. Where's the salmon? Ready, oh. chef. I would have been mortified, but for you it was like, oh, f it. you know, you are soulless. My steak is still raw. Oh, come on. It's in the oven. It still needs three minutes, chef. Do you know what fascinates about you? You're so casual. I'm, I'm not no, casual. No, but you know, it's, hey, it's like going to find some lips. It's just so, you know, we're three minutes away. Who gives a f right? You don't care. Because if you did care, you'd be putting a lot more energy into than this. I don't understand. How can I not care? Like, I'm trying my best and I'm getting slammed. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to show that I care. It's not the beef that's resting, it's you, Autumn. You're a pain in my ass. I'm really sorry, but you've become an embarrassment in the blue team. The other female chef that Ramsay was notoriously hard on is Colleen from season 5, but unlike Autumn, Ramsay had every reason to go above and beyond when ripping her to shreds. Colleen was a cooking instructor back home, and despite charging some serious money for her classes, she made a terrible first impression, both cooking and personality-wise. My name is Colleen. Corrine. Colleen. Corrine. Colleen. What do you do for a living? I uh, am a culinary instructor. I own a recreational cooking school. How much do you charge? 300 per three to four hours. Right. Ah. Okay. You seriously charge $300 to teach people how to make that crap? Yes, yes, chef. I teach manners too, chef. Say that again. Okay, please, Miss Manners, off back in line. After this, Ramsay made a fool out of Colleen every chance he got, even blowing her basic mistakes out of proportion, such as saying her mix-up was the worst mistake in Hell's Kitchen history, along with completely losing it because she couldn't repeat back in order. Yes, chef. Hi. Yes, chef. That, quite frankly, is the worst risotto I've ever tasted in my entire cooking career. Who put sugar in there? I grabbed this, I thought that was salt. That. Four Caesar salad, chef. Three shrimp, one plain. And last time. Four Caesar salad, chef. Three. Oh um, my. Oh. Three shrimp, no. one plain. Oh, you... Come on, get it on. Come on. Ooh. Make your salad. Come on, do it. She's not normal. She cannot be normal. I guess the lesson here is, if you're going to say you're a cooking instructor, don't be as bad as Colleen. And honestly, that shouldn't be a very tough assignment. On top of that, there's an added bonus. It's raw in the middle. Yes, chef. You're not a cookery school teacher, are you? You're, you're joking, aren't you? You don't really have a cooking school. No, chef, I own a cooking school. I have a business just like you do. You're robbing people! You're a thief! I'm concerned for the poor bastards that you've taken money off of! And then there's the one like Chef Ramsay, who's the arrogant, vicious attack dog. Hey, madam, you're pathetic. Season 4 was a season that came during the prime of Chef Ramsay, and with Hell's Kitchen being at the height of its popularity, he likely even amped up his raging personality on purpose to keep the viewers tuning in each and every week. And in Season 4, it appeared that for whatever reason, Ben seemed to be the one who was the main insult target for Chef Ramsay. Now granted, Ben could make up some pretty lame excuses at times and talk to big game, but was essentially all talk with no skill. But still, Chef Ramsay really berated Ben pretty much every time he messed up, as he either set him up to look stupid, or just flat out tore him apart after after making your basic Hell's Kitchen mistakes that usually would just result in typical Ramsay frustration as opposed to the rage he displayed towards Ben. I've said it before though, Chef Ramsay is superhuman. Maybe he was ruthless towards Ben the entire season since he knew Ben would turn out to be one of the biggest assholes to ever appear on the show. Do you know what? Hey, what's up? You are so sad. Hey, every time I ask you something, you give me the limpest excuse. You know that? He's getting his ass kicked tonight. You're one of the most saddest I've ever met in a kitchen. It's easy for you. That's your Problem. You've had it easy. You're not even busting your gut. Take it easy. You deserve it. You've had a hard night. Are we done? Because if we're not, I'm going to complete my station tonight, Chef. Shut it down! Turn it off! You. I can't break me, baby. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Glad it's all one big jolly. I was just telling Bobby, hey, man, good job, you know? We're just congratulating each other because we're, we're getting the food out. That's all we were doing. One, two, three, four, five, six tables on trays to go. They've got two tables to go. And go around and slap yourselves on the back now, then. Let's give a big round of applause to the captain hitting an iceberg on the Titanic. You do seriously surprise me. Thank you, Chef. I, I was hoping you'd see that. 
Give you 110. You surprise me to how you are. Oh, thank you. Ben. Punk. Useless. <laughs> I got myself a chewing. Sticking on the Ben train here, let's talk about the Ben that came one season later in season 5. Maybe Ramsey just has it out for Ben's or something, I don't know. Now again, Ben made it all the way to the Black Jackets for a reason, as he had plenty of good moments during his season 5 run, and Ramsey obviously would give credit where credit was due. But man, it seemed that every time he messed up, Ramsey wouldn't just get mad, but he would go above and beyond to insult Ben, and I think even the biggest of Ramsey fans can admit he would go a little overboard at times to poor Ben. Chef Ramsey put the infrared beam on me and uh, pulled the trigger. You're f next. No, no, no. I swear to God, you're f next. Yes, no, no, I wouldn't be able to tell if you. I'd be embarrassed. Yes, Chef. Five and a half minutes. I'm watching you like f more. I know Do you, you know are, why? Chef. Do you know, know why? I don't know, yeah. Chef. I want you out. It hurts. It hurts when someone goes at you like that. Put it down. Eat it. Happy now? Now it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. There's another one. There's one ripped to f there now. How can someone so f fat slice something so f thin? It's hard, hot pan. Yeah, that's what's called hot. Leave it, then leave it. Yeah, chef. Yeah, but chef. when you go like this, you go, I'm good, I'm good, I'm brilliant. I'm, oh, I'm from chef. Chicago. I'm f hot. Yeah, you chef. can't even get f puree hot. Find any more. And that's culture. good enough for you. No, it's not, chef. Is it? It's not. I don't want to do it in the sun. Dirty pig. Do you know your biggest problem? It will always be the downfall of your career. What You're full of. Well, right now, I'm fed up with your excuses. There's really nothing that I can do to please Chef Ramsay, and I'm slowly but surely being able to accept them. You said you're soaking tomatoes. Are oh, you, you dirty pig? Get out! Get out! And as if season 5 wasn't bad enough, Chef Ramsay invited Ben back for All Stars 12 seasons later. Now I know what you're thinking, why would Chef Ramsay invite someone back he hated so much? Well, I think it's pretty clear Ben was put in the All Stars to be an easy boot whenever Ramsay needed a scapegoat, and that came after the very first service, as with the lease on the chopping block, Ramsay eliminated Ben from the winning team, simply stating he didn't have what it took to be a head chef. So why bring back someone for an All Star season who has no shot of winning in the first place? Not only was Ramsay super hard on Ben in Season 5, but he brought him back 8 years later just to eliminate him from the winning team, literally giving him no chance to fight. My decision is... Ben! Get up here. Oh my god. I haven't taken my eyes off you since you arrived in Hell's Kitchen. And I don't think you can go the distance. Thank you. Sorry. We finish off with a chef that might not necessarily fit the mode of the video, as he's often considered one of the worst chefs to ever enter Hell's Kitchen, and thus, would warrant the constant insults, with that of course being Raj. But the thing is, while Raj acted like a literal madman at times, Ramsey went above and beyond with his insults, as he took multiple jabs at his weight, age, and complete lunatic attitude. And honestly, you can't blame him whatsoever, as I think even the calmest of people would absolutely lose it when dealing with Raj. He seemed a little bit delusional about his performance. Delusional. Spot on. Now really cook the food correctly. Like Aren't you the most experienced chef in here? Yes. You've been cooking longer than me. Yes. <laughs> Just I need a little more time. I'm a slow learner. You're 49. I need a fast learner. You, come here. You're standing here next to me. I called that out and you just turned your fat ass around. You didn't even acknowledge me. Get out there and tell him you're dragging two. And you go to the customers and tell them you f it up. You can't go out there with this jacket. Hey, come here, come here, you. If I tell you to get out there, I don't give a f if you got a thong up your fat crack. Get out there. Look at his eating, look. Haven't you got enough in there? But that's so good. It's really a waste. Wow. Not an ounce of seasoning. What are you? We're doing it again. Don't argue with chef. Don't say, say yes, say, chef. Don't spit Go with it in my face. Say that again. Say that again. Yes, chef. Yeah. These guys save life for a living. Yeah, and you're about to their breakfast. Got it? Yes, chef. Oh my god! There's no salt, there's no pepper. And I'm like, what the? I gotta cool off somehow. I tried to clear my head by sticking my head in the refrigerator, but I couldn't. Rush! Move your fat ass! Rush. You, big boy, are out of your league. And I personally can't go an inch. Further. Jacket. There's the door there, big boy. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video of the Hell's Kitchen chefs that were most broken by Gordon Ramsay. If you enjoyed it, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let me know if you think I missed any other Ramsay punching bags in the comments below. With all that said, take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.